We're joined now by CSUN coach Andy Newman. Coach, if you could start us off with some opening comments, we'll take questions afterwards. Yeah, uh, it was a good game. Uh, I thought uh, we played really hard. Um, came out on fire uh, with a lot of gas and and made some great plays to start the game and just ran out of gas. Um, but credit to Hawaii. I mean, they played good basketball, made shots when they had to, and that's what this time of year is about. I mean, you know, you gotta you gotta make shots, and Hawaii did. They executed their offense, and and uh, I, I thought they played great and and uh, deserved to win. And and uh, you know, it's a that's that's a good team that that uh, that we lost to today. Coach Gabriel Doherty, Daily Sundial. Uh, just looking at the whole picture, I know it's it's um, you know you're just coming off a loss, but coach, 19 wins you finished off this season, most since the 2007 2008 season. You know, just off the top of your mind, what were your thoughts on how this season went in your first year? Yeah, 20 would have been great, <laughs> uh, and then after that, 21 would have been even better. You know, you just it's tough because as a competitor, you just you know you're just built to. Uh, you know, to always, you know, be, be, you know, pushing and, and trying to get that next victory. And so, uh, right now, feel like crap, you know, it's just a tough day. I've been doing this now 26, this is my 25th year. And this is by far the worst day of the year for probably most basketball coaches, just a tough, um, deal, but especially with this group, you know, um, first year head coach, the guys who decided to come back, play for me. You know, we have a special bond um, that they would trust me with their senior years. That's pretty big. Um, so this was uh, especially tough for me personally. Alan Zinsmeister, CSUN Radio Coach, congratulations uh, on, on the fabulous season. Um, you turn the program around, and I know the program is in great hands. You mentioned fatigue, and I think I can look at the stats to see that uh, in the second half you were 0 for 9 from the three-point line when you had made eight threes the night before. Talk about the, the short turnaround when you had a game, an 8.30 game, and then you had to play the 6 o'clock game tonight. Yeah, it was certainly tough. Um, you know, it was, that was, uh, it was really a tough turnaround for our guys. Um, I thought we, we came out early and showed some intensity and some passion, but uh, that was certainly a, a, a factor, you know, knowing that we had finished the game and we're tipping one off 18 hours later. Uh, it's tough. Um, you know, tough, yeah, just uh, just tough to for these guys to get their bodies back. And they're just playing so hard now. I mean, I didn't play this hard <laughs> when I was a player. You know, uh, these guys are jumping higher and, and uh, you know, so much more explosive now. And, and those guys out there, those at CSUN team, played their hearts out. Um, played their hearts out last night, played their hearts out tonight, just gave everything they could. Um, so, it, you know, credit to them. Uh, man, i just so proud of their effort. Um, you know, wish we would have made a couple more baskets down the stretch, but, uh, but super proud of, of what they gave um, here. Uh, quick, uh, quick uh, for you, Coach. Uh, congratulations. Uh, you know, I know you didn't feel that way, but a wonderful season thus far. But you mentioned, you know, Deshaun. Obviously, everybody's going to talk about the first, uh, uh, first team All Big West guy. But your two seniors aren't coming back, Jarrett and De'Aaron. The last two games, what they gave, the effort they gave, the last two games for you guys. Yeah, they were huge. Um, I mean, for those two guys to step up in this tournament um, and really play to a level that we hadn't seen before um it says a lot about them and in big moments how they're going to perform because this is the biggest stage and the biggest moment and to watch them respond in the way that they did i'm so happy for them i mean they're going to look back at their college career and this is what they're going to remember and they're gonna, we're going to remember beating santa barbara last night coming in and, and playing their butts off tonight giving everything they had leaving it all on the floor and that's all you can ask that's all you can do and i know i mean you know, there's not a day goes by. Oh, I should say this. There's probably not a two-day period that goes by where I don't think about my own basketball career. So I know, you know, this is just what 
this is just what life is for college basketball players. It's such a fun experience and such a, a great time in their life that you just are always looking back at it and wanting more. And so for those two guys, for them to look back at this, I, I, I'm just really happy for them because they're going to look back and have no regrets and know that they laid it all out there, um, which was great to see. Wes Nakama, Warrior Insider. Coach, uh, we talked about last week, um, Deshaun at 34 against Hawaii. Tonight he had 22, five minutes into the second half, and then only four the rest of the way. Um, did you see Hawaii doing something in those last 15 minutes, whether it was scheme or, or matchups or whatnot, um, that was able to hold him in check? You know, they were, they, 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 they've got a great coaching staff over there, and, and they certainly did a great job um, of game planning for him. And hard not to. The guy had 34, you know, a week before. So, but they definitely made it a lot harder on Deshaun to get his baskets and, and wore him down. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I just, uh, you know, Deshaun's effort was tremendous. Um, again, even with them keying on him for him to have the kind of night he had tonight, um, 22 and nine. I mean, he's a special player. Um, and he's got a lot of really good basketball ahead of him. Coach Alex Perez, Valley View News. Um, so yesterday you said that you wanted to bring basketball back to the Valley, and clearly you've done that. Um, what's going to be your biggest takeaway from this season heading into the next? Um, yeah, just uh, you know, we got big, big shoes to fill with these seniors. Um, so got to get out on the recruiting trail and recruit guys that can take this to the next step that are all, you know, talented and love basketball. Um, and if you surround yourself with, with guys like that, then good things will happen. And I think that's what you saw with this group, um, just kind of the tip of the sword of it. And then now as CSUN um, gains that reputation of being a place where guys who love basketball can go and flourish, then hopefully we just snowball this thing and keep this thing going. So that's my my plan and my hope for the university and for the for the men's basketball program at CSUN for sure. Coach Deshaun last night spoke about how uh, around this time was a year ago he went through a really tough time in his life getting arrested, but he managed to come back and find his way into your good graces and the university's graces and came back onto the team and had one of the best seasons in recent memory for the Matadors, earning big first team big All Big West. Coach, wh what what has Deshaun meant to you in your first year as a head coach here at CSUN? Oh, it's been huge. You know, it, um, you know, we had a very emotional time uh, in the locker room about ten minutes ago, and and uh, you know, as a basketball coach, you know, you see my two little kids out there. It's family, you know, and. Uh, when somebody chooses you, like Deshaun did, and to really help your family, boy, I can I can touch your heart, um, and certainly touch mine, uh, because uh, you know you put your all into this thing, and as coaches, you have so much on the line. You know, uh, it's it's a crazy profession, but my two little boys, they eat and have a roof over the head <laughs> based on if we win or lose. And uh, so for a guy like Deshaun to be in the transfer portal and then after spending a couple of weeks with us deciding, you know what, I'm going to choose Coach Newman in this program. And then what he did for us, what he did for me personally, for my family, but for this program and, and putting it on the map and and flipping it like he, like he did, that, man, that's – as a coach, that's gold. You just, you know, it's just so very grateful for him and thankful uh, for him choosing to be a part of of, uh, of the family and what we're building here. Coach, uh, both teams had to manage some foul trouble in the second half. I know Tucker and, and Sang up both, both uh, got their third, fourth fouls kind of early uh, on their side. Um, the Silva got his third and fourth fouls, had to come out, and then uh, really got knocked out of the game. So how was managing that five spot on both sides as far as, um, the, you know, the chess match and how to manage the foul trouble and, and <laughs> um, you know, play your cards in, the, in that realm? Yeah, well, I checked with the table and asked if I could put Scott Cutley in, and my assistant, 
and they said no um he's exhausted all his eligibility so we were running out of players down there and and fouls with them um and so was hawaii and so kind of went back and forth and and you know they brought uh their guy in akira who can really stretch the floor and and um made a big three um and then you know we kind of combated that with our guys tuck who are better around the basket. So it was kind of, there was a lot of, you know, subbing, you know, we would sub in a guy that would cause them to sub somebody else. And so there, there was a lot of that, um, going on certainly, um, throughout the game. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, the players that were out there, uh, made the plays and, uh, why just made a couple more than we did tonight. Enjoy your time. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks coach. Great season. Thank you.